in the library, the 12 letters are gone. And so, what are we left with? We're only left with Jose Alejandrino's account of this woman and her aunt. And there is no name that is given. So, what is the documentation that we have? The dozen letters, there's a footnote saying it existed, and there's only one that has survived, a fragment, where she calls him a naughty little boy. And the biggest question is, is she the woman that Alejandrino talks about that giving them amusement in the house? You know, so, we will never really know. Now, number 11 is the butterfly girl. I don't have her picture, so it's just butterflies. <laughs> and the only documentation we have for this is basically uh, an essay he wrote about his first reminiscence, and also in chapter 7, when Ibarra and Maria Clara are talking to each other, uh, Maria Clara, Ibarra tells Maria Clara, when we were children, we were only chasing butterflies. So it might be someone. Now, Number 12, who are these people we don't know? There's a woman from Pagsanghal, there's a certain woman named Felipa, Margarita, uh, and a host of other people who we have no documentation for and no picture for. But the most important of all is the last one, number 13, and this is Josephine Raffet, um, who was called Josefina. Uh, another big regret of my life. Um, so many years ago, I'm sorry, it's moving. No, it's uh, Rizal made a uh, clay statuette of Josephine sleeping. She's naked under the sheets. And when the Rizal uh, descendants had dispersed of their property, one relative was going to the States and he said, I want to sell the Josephine bracket to you. I said, Yeah, how much is that? Uh, and he says, One million pesos. And this was about 10 years ago. So I went to my